This is the National Video Journalist Network. Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Oh, you are awesome! Good job, Iris. You're the best. It's Give Kids a Smile Day at Farmingdale State College. This event is part of a national effort by the American Dental Association Foundation to provide underserved children with free oral services. Free for the whole community, anybody. Um, you know, we start out the day, we take walk-ins, but normally we book appointments, and we anticipate that we'll see patients today between 12 and like quarter to five. We've had kids who come in a little afraid, they're scared, um, they might be crying, and then they realize everybody else is doing the same thing. So I think it's a great environment for children to receive care. The Dental Hygiene Center is buzzing with activity, and these dental health experts are part of over 10,000 people nationwide that are donating their time to this cause. We have over 200 volunteers and patients that will be visiting the Dental Hygiene Care Center here at Farmingdale State College. Do you brush twice a day? Yep. Okay. In the morning and before bed. Good job. This event is also great for professional development the dental students get a hands-on lesson on servicing their smallest customers. Our sophomore dental hygiene students actually provide the treatment and our freshman dental hygiene students are a huge help. They come and assist the uh, sophomore dental hygiene students and it helps prepare them for the event next year where they will be the providers. Do you see a smile? Oh, so funny. <laughs> it's fun. It's, the kids are nervous at first, but we make them feel welcomed and they get their teeth cleaned and it's good for them. So I'm just going to use my little mirror to check things out, okay? Yeah, I think just showing them what you're doing beforehand, walking them through it step by step, uh, showing them that it's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> and talking to them in kids' terms. Don't use these big words on them. Just make them feel at home. Ariel, that's my favorite too. I love the little mermaid. Try and have fun with them and keep them calm and just talk about things they'll like and understand. Like, oh, this toothbrush is your favorite color and keep them focused on that instead of what you're actually doing. And then you're going to do the front. And to promote long-term dental health, kids are shown how to properly brush and how to properly floss. Got it? Cool, right? Yeah. With families coming and going all day, things can get a little stressful. So Ronald McDonald is on hand to lighten the mood. See how busy everybody's hard at work. <laughs> I love your sneakers, by the way. You think I can borrow the sneakers next Tuesday? Allison is a Farmingdale State College graduate, so she knows to bring her kids here every year. Not a lot of kids have access to dental care. And it's important, it's important to start them young on good dental hygiene, I think, so. And make them not fear the dentist. Paul seems to have enjoyed every minute of his cleaning, but he was a little nervous at first. Yeah, like I really, like when I was scared, then I like, it made me laugh. They put like these little things inside my teeth. What things? Those little marshmallow looking things. It's the best paste ever. What an endorsement. Wait till the other one erupts a little more. Okay. Meanwhile, John gets an update on his children's checkups. Uh, this is actually the second or third time they've come here. And I think they've heard about it. My wife, I forget how my wife originally heard about it, but so we've been bringing it here for them. How many kids did you bring here today? Three. Especially if people that don't have dental insurance, yeah, it kind of helps a lot. <laughs> because these children don't get consistent dental health care, the team is ready to take on a child that comes in with complications. We actually have dental residents, uh, the School of Dental Medicine at Stony Brook, and if we have a child who's identified with an urgent dental need, then we can certainly do, um, you know, minor extractions, pulpotomies, temporary fillings. And those services are also free. It's a great day. I love this. It's my favorite day of the year here. Thank you.